Hey everyone, so welcome back to our channel, Verb Right Fighters. So today, me and Kelly will be reacting to Bird Abuses on Instagram. So Matilda is not with us, so only two of us will be reacting to the Bird Abuses on Instagram. And disclaimer, this video is not to hate anyone. This video is made for learning purpose. This is not to hate on anyone. This is just for informational purposes. And yeah. this is not to hurt any um these people on Instagram. And subscribe to Labia's channel, which is Birdie Lovers. Matilda's channel as well, even though she's not here again today. She had um a few issues again. But don't forget to subscribe her too, which is Bird TV. So now I will be sharing my screen. So the first video is this one in which the dog is literally trying to hurt the bird. I mean this is not a dog, this is a puppy. But do you realize how harsh do puppies play? That is not made for the birds. Do do you know they they like to um like play with everything? The puppy is literally thinking that the bird is a toy. And they can easily hurt any of the animals. Um, dogs are really great animals, but they can easily hurt someone. So please do not let your bird play with your dog. Puppies attack really harsh because that time they are growing and they need to like play with everything. They think that everything is made for playing. So please don't do that. And if you can look, then the bird is literally clipped. So bird can't even do anything. And the puppy is literally trying to like um like use its paws and play with the bird. Yes, and um this is not a very good video because even though um the puppy may be tame or something, and even though it's like a very small puppy, like but it's still a dog, it's still a predator. And it's like, as you can see in the video, it's like um, trying to attack, maybe just attack playfully, maybe it's just curious, but still, that's kind of dangerous. Yeah. Um, the cockatiel is rather helpless. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't fly away, perhaps it's clipped. But yeah, like look at his you know, thing. You shouldn't let your dog interact yeah. with your cockatiel. Like not, so. This video is like really common sense. Use your common sense. It's like you can easily see the puppies trying to hurt the bird and puppies play very harsh. If you don't know that, how could you be a dog owner? <laughs> like it's common sense. You you shouldn't be letting your birds do dogs do that to your bird. Here. Now this one is not a video, but and you may think what's wrong with it so well there is nothing wrong with feeding your birds with spinach but the thing that's wrong is is the cage the cage is literally made up of iron and it have got rust all over it which is way too harmful and dangerous it's really poisonous like look the you can easily see the rust which is very dangerous plus the the spot thing that spot is very 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 dangerous to realize the pot is made uh for like water here in india people use that type of pot to keep water cold and do you realize that birds don't need cold they need warmth not cold and that pot can get dust under it which can cause respiratory system and many other diseases. Now, I would go for the perches, which is literally like made up of um, metal, I think, or it's a plastic perch. I think it's metal perch. I can't really see it, but wait, I will go on the profile and so, yeah. So, um, like the, the, the video, I mean the picture is okay um it's very good to feed your budgie with leafy greens because that's healthy and but the cage 
um, has a little rust. So perhaps the cave's metal is not very um, good. And if the bird chews on the rust, like Maya, my budgie, she likes to chew on her cage. I don't know why. But if there's gonna be rust and her budgie likes to chew on the cage as well, that's a little dangerous. And the metallic birches, which is completely unacceptable because metallic birches are very, very, very bad. To be honest, I have never seen someone using metallic birches in their cage. It's kind of like shocking to me. And they also have a wooden birch, but still, this person only has two birches that plastic toy with um, like really no toys or very less toys. So here are this bird. And then the person literally grabs the bird without and you can easily see that the bird don't want to don't want to be grabbed. It's like you're forcing a bird. Which I found is wrong. Yes, and uh the way she grabbed he slash she grabbed, um that's a little like because the thumb is almost near the chest and that's a little dangerous. I actually once tried to properly grab Diki, but he didn't like it, so I never did it again. Um, so yeah, don't really force your bird to grab that. Maybe he was running away from the hand. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you should have like a very good bond with the bird before you attempt to grab them. Yeah. So now this one. <laughs> so now you may think what this oh. video is supposed to be. You may think that this video is a really cute video and other stuff, but no, this isn't a cute video, like, if you could see. But then, the part comes where the cat literally just snatched the bird. The cat literally just smashed the bird over the, to her face, which could be really, really dangerous. It's <laughs> not good. Again, yeah, this is like kind of cute, kind of funny. Like the budgie is likes the cat. The cat annoyed with the budgie, but um, the like this any looks like accident can happen with this because it looks a person like walking to a team lion. There's yeah. always a risk. Yeah. Um. So yeah, don't I personally won't. Uh, that a cat interact with a budgie because yeah. that's gonna be so it's just like that the you couldn't trust a cat with a bird because cat will always be a predator it's <laughs> just that way um here comes the same thing the cage setup now this one is as worse than cage setup as the like second one because if you look there is a breeding pot, the person is using his birds as breeding machine with inappropriate breeding pot. This pot is literally the worst pot. It can cause respiratory infections in birds. Um, the cage is all dirty. Like if you would look at the food bowls or over the birches, there is poop all over it. The cage is literally so dirty. I don't even know if you ever clean their cage. But this cage setup looks really bad to me because the person is using birds as breathing machine, the person don't clean the cage, and the cage looks a little bit overcrowded because the cage don't look really big to me. Yeah, so uh, I don't really know that much about breeding uh, birds, but I personally don't like breeding them because uh, there's a lot of risk 
and I don't really like uh, having breeding pots either because I actually learned a lot from some friends um, on what happens. So uh, maybe have a like a cleaner cage because being in a dirty environment is not good for anyone or any bird. You can post it. Well, this is not a bird abuse. <laughs> this is a cute video. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> so cute. This, this, like good, this video is a break. <laughs> a break from the abuse. <laughs> yeah. So, this one again is from the same person. Oh my gosh! The bird... The puppy literally snatched the bird from his mouth. Like, it really ate the bird. Oh my god, no! What was that? What's wrong with this person? The, the puppy um, literally just ate so, the bird. Um, yeah, so, um, puppy plus bird equals trouble. Bird plus Interacting with pu puppy equals risk. So, yeah, um, even though the puppy's tame, do not let it interact with the cockatiel. As you can see, the cockatiel looks like, oh no, what am I gonna do? There's a predator and the owner's just videoing me. The cockatiel, this is from the same person, the cockatiel is clipped and the puppy is again snatching the bird. Why? Can't you see that the that the puppy is trying to like play with the bird like the bird is a toy. Do you realize that the puppy can easily harm the bird? How could you even do that? Give the puppy a chew toy that's yellow as well, but do not yeah. give it an alive cockatiel. Yeah, like do you, do you think that rather than spending money to get a bird as a toy for your puppy, get a real toy? Please, why are you doing that? The, the cockatiel is so much annoyed and the puppy is still thinking that the cockatiel is a toy or food or treat, something. Do you realize they can, they can be really like harsh towards humans? So how could you let your bird do to play with the dog? Uh. So... Those were all the bird abuses that we reacted to. So yeah, um, hopefully the if the people from Instagram watches, well, who knows? But like, um, please learn from the mistakes because the for what the one with the dog, don't let the puppy interact with the cockatiel. Uh, for the one with the breeding pot and the metal bars and stuff, um, perhaps give. Remove the breeding pot, give them a cleaner cage, maybe. The answer for all those, all of those, them, all of those bird abuses will be please do research before getting a bird, or you are risking the life of a little animal. So please always do research before getting a bird. Yeah, so. That yes. was it for today's video. We reacted to those bird abuses. And we'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. It's made for learning purpose. Informational purposes. No yeah. hate to anybody. None to the TikTok peep. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, I got this part now. I yeah. did the wrong social media. I mean.